What is going on, everybody? It is Treep from Treep Talks here. And we're here on another special episode of the Crew Cast, episode 12. And the first actual video upload on Treep Talks this week, too. Because, you know, it's, it's, been, it's been a rough go this week. But, you know, the, we've talked about that. We've done explain that. Now this Crew Cast... Should almost just be called the OG3 cast because that's about all we get every, every single week. week. <laughs> we got Colge in the building. Colge, how you doing, brother? I am doing fantastic today. How are you doing today, Trevin? You know, I'm just I'm hanging in there, you know. I'm just hanging trying to hustle. I was tired today. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't get enough sleep last night. That's like a modern day problem for me. Yeah. Like ever since I stopped working at 2 p.m. every day. Yeah. And like had to work at like 8 a.m. It's... It's hard for me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, after work yesterday, I took, like, a three-hour nap, and then I got another six hours, so I felt felt really good this morning. You know, I woke up at 5.20. It's what time I wake up in the morning. Damn. Because I got work at 6. But, Mm. yeah, I felt, like, better than usual when I woke up this morning because I took that nap. Dude, what I would give to fucking feel that way in the morning. Like, never. I don't feel that way ever in the mornings, bro. (laughs) I'm telling you, like, I will get up, I will get, I will go to bed at 7 p.m., get up at 6 a.m., I'll still be tired. Yeah. And I'll still be pissed <laughs> to get up in the morning, like, I don't know. Like, I mean, I've tricked my mindset to do a lot of things, but fucking getting up in the morning has been one thing I just can't trick my fucking mind to do. <laughs> Speaking of people that can't trick their mind to get up early, Fitz! In the building. What's up, hey, dog? What's up, bro? How you doing? Yeah, I know. I had to take that jab at you. Well, you, you can't know, get up well, for shit either. See. Well, let's see here. I've been, I've been up at like ten the past few days. See, you know that I can handle you know? that. If I worked at if I worked at like ten, I can handle that. Yeah. You know, ten's not bad. I mean, it's not bad for sleeping in. Nah, ten ten sleeping in for a good yeah. for oh, a good amount of me. I got, oh, up, yeah. Yeah. I got like, up at eleven today. Like so nine thirty, I the most of sleeping in for me nowadays. Ever since I started opening, you just can't do it. I can't. Like when I used to close, work two to ten or whatever, you know, I would like wake up at eleven or noon every day. But yeah, I'm better now. See, I haven't. I just can't get up in the morning, regardless. That's just not my thing. Anyway. So today, episode 12 is brought to you by Spicy Hot Takes. It's a hot take episode. We uh, told each other to come up with some fiery takes to say on the podcast. I mean, I don't know, Bryce Bryce looks like he still has got some in the chamber. Like, he hasn't, he hasn't thought about a real fiery take. Oh, I haven't yet. either. <laughs> you know what? If you guys haven't thought of your fiery takes... I'll start off with mine, because this is a hot take that nobody in this room's gonna agree with, and nobody in the entire world's gonna agree with. Madden 15 is an elite Madden game. You only say that because you were kind of good at it. And it was fun. Because you play it, no. Madden 15 had a simple formula on how to win, and if you executed that formula, you won the game. Okay, so you, these were your two plays. You had one one or two offensive plays, and then you had one defensive play. And the one main offensive play was halfback dive. You ran that every single play. Fourth and fifteen, you're gonna run a halfback dive, and then defense, you played cover three zone, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and then sometimes you do that play action play, but and then you would do two clock the whole game, you bitch, <laughs> and I would win, Barely. except and I would no. You don't wait, beat me very often. Our career record is I probably got you beat by two to well, one. Well, because you get in my head. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I, I don't you, like you it. You have a 28 point lead Dude, at halftime. You get it by head. Like, Dude, here comes Fitz. I'm rolling back. I'm not a good competitive Madden player because I let motherfuckers get in my head. Never once have I gotten into your head, but almost no. every time we play, I beat you. 
Because you'll, you'll literally, you'll start beating me by like 20 points. You'll be whooping my ass and you'll get cocky. Yep. You'll say stuff and then yep. I'll then I'll come back. And that's more I'll like see. street. That's more like street. No, I've done it on Madden against you several I did that times. in the conference championship game in our season. <laughs> it's it's against never. Against you, Tree. It's, that was the Super Bowl. Was it? That was the Super down, Bowl. You were up 28 points at yeah. that time. Yeah. At the Super Bowl. I and think it was lost. like Madden 17 or 16 where I did that with you. But Dude, like, I just, I do that against everybody. Like, I, the clutch gene's not in my favor. Like, Leighton, the last time I played Leighton was like Madden 25. Yeah. And I was beating him like 35 to 14, and then he just fucking came all the way back, went for two, and beat me. I remember Dude. the first time I ever played Madden. It was like when I was friends with you guys at the very beginning, probably like the second or third time, you guys are all like... Yeah, we play a lot of Madden, and we played, uh, I was like, yeah, sure, I've never played Madden before, and we played Madden 25 on Bryce's, like, PS3, I'm pretty sure, uh-huh. and you beat me. We did the Mercy Rule, like, 28-0 to zero yeah. in, like, two minutes or something yeah. like that. Dude, honestly, when we get invested in the games, we get invested in the games. Like, I was never much of a video game guy growing up, like, by myself. But I love playing video games with, like, other people, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. fucking NBA Live 07, dude. That game was In 2017! Fun. That was fun, dude. <laughs> on the original Xbox? In 2017! Dude, I should do the career mode on that. I still got it at my place. Dude, I just love doing the three-point shootouts, because I remember, dude, when Dakota lived there... Dude, he... Yeah. Dude, Dakota would hit 30. So, dude, he would dude. just be fucking draining. Uh-huh. That's hilarious, too, because, like, in my... NBA 2K18, they have the All-Stars weekend or whatever in the middle of your season. Yeah. And I will, like, replay the three-point contest just because I like shooting around mm-hmm. during yeah. a three-point contest. It's fun. Dude, and I mean, like, Street 2. I can't even tell you how many games we've played of Bro, fucking Street 2. That is the True. number one game in the world that need that deserves a remaster. No shit, oh, dude. Yeah. There's like, there's a whole Twitter page dedicated to it. Is there really? Yeah, they they download. You can download custom rosters, can't but you have to buy memory cards. Mm-hmm. But these people do oh, like that on the PS2. That people, these people do that though. Link to them in the description. That's pretty badass. I've honestly thought about doing that, but I don't have a PS2. I do. Oh yeah, you do. And then Xbox. I don't have memory cards though. Yeah, an Xbox. I'm gonna try to find the test drive. Derby game for yeah. your fucking Xbox. <laughs> Dude, serious. I mean, like, half of the Xbox games you have were my Xbox games. I think all of them were. <laughs> yeah, dude, because... I had a couple. I had, like, Dead or Alive 3, and... You I had, had Lego had... Star Wars, too, because that was I had that on the 360. Oh, really? Yeah, that one was my game. But I kind of want to get back to this, this debate here. I want to say my favorite time, like, really playing, like, a classic man would be playing the Wii man. <laughs> oh, God. Had the tournament Madden 10? Yeah, dude. Madden 10. Dude, Madden Wii. 10's fun. I played it's that against fun. Arturo. You can score PS3. like 90 points a game and yeah. you just go at it. That's how it was. And it's with so fun. Dude, you know what was my favorite thing was? Was freaking. So Bry- Bryce talks all this shit now because we're older <laughs> and we're grown. He could beat me in fucking video games. When we were kids and I'd beat Bryce in video games, he'd get. I get pissed. so fucking pissed. He'd get <laughs> pissed and he'd get sad. I remember one time my brother was playing him in fucking Madden like 08 and just clowned him like a hun- <laughs> oh, hun- yeah. 140 to like 25 and Bryce like walked home. <laughs> <laughs> he was just like uh, fucking fed up with the yeah. shit. You, you can't talk to you for Bryce. a month. <laughs> Dude, Bryce used to... Bryce I used to get, rage, but now, like, I've been a whole lot calmer. I just don't care. <laughs> Dude, God, no like shit. When you were younger, dude, you were just one a big bitch. ball of fucking rage, dude. Yeah. You remember one time, dude, when we were when we were fucking fucking around? And I broke your jacket, and you didn't talk to me for like three days. You were yep. fucking dead. dude. I was a dick, dude. Dude, I remember my Sometimes. fucking my parents saw each other. Our parents saw each other, and they were like trying to get us back together. Right? <laughs> it was so they were trying to force. It's like, 
Dude, freaking A. Your mom always let us do the cool shit, though. My mom always fucking was like... Your mom was very, like, strict. Dude, though. I you couldn't even do. spend the night at your house until we were, like, friends for, like, six years. True. <laughs> and then, like, by that time, like, spending the night it at was, places like, just ruined yeah, it for yeah. me. Yeah, you never spend the night anywhere. Yeah. Anywhere. You, you spent the night at my house, like, once or twice. And I remember one of them was before uh, the first time. It depends on where I'm yeah. sleeping, but if I cannot get comfortable, I will... Try to find a way home, or I'll just walk home. Dude, I I just like I like being home, dude. I, I bounce, you know, whether that be like. Dude, yeah, I like my bed the most. <laughs> yeah, I, my I, bed's comfier too. than any other bed in the world. I, I have think. a memory. Yeah. I have like this memory foam stuff on my mm-hmm. bed, and it's just like once you sink into that, it's really <laughs> <laughs> but your whole ass body just Woo! sinks into the. Rip. Dude, I fucking like my bed, too. And, I mean, I've only mm-hmm. been fucking sleeping in it now for, like, a year. <laughs> dude, Bailey's bed. That she, she that used to be, like, at her dad's house. Dude, mm-hmm. that's the fucking most comfy bed. The one bed. right down the way from his house. Yeah, yeah dude. It's crazy. Oh, my God. Look who's in the crew cast. Oh, We're doing the, the crew, crew cast. cast. Oh. Bailey chilling in her scrubs. Yeah, how look at... You doing how was your day at work today, babe? Yeah. Busy. Very busy? busy? Let me hear about it. Let me hear about Let's it. Let's hear about it. You um, bring home pizza? Yeah. Did you? Ooh. Little Caesars? Yeah. Wow! <laughs> hey, oh, providing for the crew cast. I love it. I think he smells it, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, I smelled it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew exactly I what it was when I smelled it. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy bread? Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Mots? Uh-huh. Huh? Uh, well, not Mots. Marinara sauce? Yeah. You can't have bread ranch? without marinara. We no, ranch. oh, we do have ranch, ranch. and we got Shining avocado ranch. ranch too. Another hot Hinty take. Ava- no, dude, freaking Hidden Valley. Oh, really? Avocado Ooh. ranch is just as good as regular ranch. Uh, I like Taco Bell. Hard pass. Avocado. Hard pass. You guys are sleep. Valley ranch all Ooh. the way, dude. But Hidden Ooh. Valley avocado Pristine. ranch. No. Okay, no. my <laughs> first hot take of the crew cast: Hidden Valley isn't that good. Whatever. Jesus. It's, it's, just, like, it's just like you with your f- the pickles. The, up at the cabin. With oh, the God. That was the a damn debate. Pickles. Dude, there's good pickles and there's not yeah, great pickles. Yeah, and the ones that are the exactly. best. Exactly. Yeah. The ones are, are the not best. the ones that you bought. Yeah. Oh, you're up there. Nally's yeah. the best pickle. Nally is the best it's the pickle. Be- garlic dill. Yeah, best. yeah. Best. The little ones like yep. that. Baby yep. dill. Yeah, she dill. knows what's yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Those are the best. Nah, but for real. I'm gonna have to call you whack for saying Hidden Valley's whack, though. Yeah, I will say real. Ken's. Hidden I know. Valley I know. I know. Based. Ken's. Ken. Ken's ranch is your shit. Ken's I know. is the best ranch, and it's a good ranch. But, but it's, it's more not of a the ranch. <laughs> yeah. It is the best ranch, dude. But I mean, like, I don't know. Hidden Actually, Valley Ranch. Ken's is probably the second. Because Taco Time, uh, the Happy Days Taco oh, Time. Oh, so, that's not even fair. Well, yeah, so like we... Time. Y'all don't even know. So, yeah, we, <laughs> we got like a corporation here in Lucent. It's called Happy Days. And they yeah. own series of restaurants and uh, I think they own Taco Time. So. I think it's in the Northwest. Though. Yeah, so I think it might just be in the Valley, honestly. It might be. Yeah. And so they own like some really good restaurants. And they got... They own Taco Time and they have their own Happy Days Ranch. And it's... The best ranch yeah. might just be a Midwest thing with the whole ranch dispute, but I don't know. But like, okay, so now. But that, hold on, 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 hold on. You forgot one dank ranch we just had recently that might uh, even top Taco Time Ranch. Ah, uh, uh, no. Pizza Factory Ranch, dog. They, dude, it ranch. was up there. Dude, it was. <laughs> no, I think honestly, <laughs> dude, it was up okay. there. It was good. It was pretty dank. Hidden yeah. Valley is now number two for me, but I think number one is Taco. Oh well, yeah, without and like even like so. Uh, the lady who owns KC's, she used to work for Happy Days, and she has, like, the basically the same ranch. Yeah. And all the Happy Days ranch, it's not quite the same as Taco Time. It's, yeah. for me at least. They're, well, but, so they're not the same, but they're the well, same? Well, so it should be the same, I'm pretty yeah. sure, but, like, I don't know. I think Taco Time is just different. I don't know Does why, because, like, because, like, they're sodas. Oh my god, there's some too. Oh, Chris. Their sodas are the best fountain drinks I've ever had. Yeah, they're Oh, yes. Yeah. Like, their Sprite tastes Anywhere, different dude. than regular Sprite. Dr. Oh, yeah. Pepper. They're Dr. Pepper. <coughs> they're literally, I've had all their sodas, and they're all 
ridiculously good. <laughs> ridiculously crisp. Like, okay, yeah, their Dr. Peppers are to die for. The though. best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> their Sprite's it's not the worth. Best. It's not worth what it's cost, though. Yes, it is. Dude, for a large soda, it's like three twenty three. Bruh. I will buy that. <laughs> Dude, it's so good. I can get a fucking dollar large $1 soda at McGee's. fucking McDonald's. Yeah, but they're... Wrong. It's not the they're same. They're right. pretty good, dude. Okay. McDonald's. Well, you know when you honestly... go to Taco Time, you get the whole thing. It's kind of spendy. You gotta get a lot of food. Yeah, but uh, you dude, know, you never, get... you never go to fucking when Taco eating... Time and not spend over twenty bucks. Okay, oh, that's yeah. true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, when you're eating your tots, you know, with your ranch. Oh, dude, oh tots yeah, are good. yeah. And then you I take don't really a good like old tots. sip of that Dr Pepper. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh shit. damn. Yeah, it slaps. It slaps. It slaps. It does. But I mean, like, maybe this is a hot take, but. Taco time just ain't worth it to me. Oh, dude, that's, dude. That's a hot dude, take it, cannot get behind. Dude, it. I'm telling you, if I'm getting fast food, I'm not going to fucking taco time. Because, I mean, yeah, it's good. Cream of the crop content. I will give it that. I'll get I'll get but taco it's time like once a month. Too much fucking spending. It is spending. Man. That's why I don't I also don't want to see Layton's ugly ass. <laughs> Shout outs to Layton's in the chat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I don't know. What do you, What do you think? Where does Taco Time rank on your list in fast food? Oh, on fast food? So, yeah, if we're talking... Oh, so, like, well, shit. there's a shit ton of them. So. so, if you're talking to your top three places to get Lewis and fast food, money's not an object. Well, okay, then Taco really? Time's number one. If money's not Taco an Time's object. number one, really? Yeah, Over... Taco Time, Taco Bell, then McDonald's. Wow, you're not even going to put Sharps in your top three? That's not fast food. That's fan food. <laughs> fan food. No, okay, I forgot about sharks. I, I don't I don't consider them. I know it's like fast food, it but is I don't fast food. It's fast uh, food. Dude, they got to drive. Valley, so they got to drive through, man. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. I totally forgot about sharps, dude. Dude, sharps is number one. Sharps has the best fry so, sauce. So ever. what is this? The top three valley, oh. top three okay, valley yeah. fucking okay, fast food. Sharps, foods. Taco Time, and then. Probably just T-Bell. Uh, mine would probably be Sharps, T-Bell, fucking, I mean, if we're basing it off, like, probably Taco Time. Like You that, said money's not an option. Yeah, right. Taco Time. Whatever. I'd probably go Sharps. Dude, Dairy Queen slept on, too, honestly. Dude, they They're... are. I had a bacon cheeseburger there the other day. Dang. Dude, Dairy Queen's good. Queen's hot pretty Sundays, good. they have the blizzards. Would, my three would be probably... Sharps, Dairy Queen, and Panda. Panda? Panda. I'm not much of a Chinese food guy. And it's like... I just like the orange chicken so much. Their Panda's dank. It's so good. That's like once every few months And he said... He said fucking the walnut shrimp I needed to try. So the walnut shrimp? Hey, walnut shrimp, man. Is dank. Is dank as fuck. Who knows? It is super dank. What's the worst fast food place? Burger King. BK. And the, and dude, this, and really? This, hot this take, valley. dude. BK dude, this, is... This BK in Lewiston in is, horrible. is horrible. It like, is. Like, you go to Seattle Airport, their BK is delicious. Yeah. I'll have it when I go there, because they only like have, I, they don't have anything else, really. I've ate Burger King in town a few times, and I get sick from them. Uh, yeah. Dude, like, I get sick. their original chicken sandwiches are pretty fun. Oh, dude. Good. Honestly, probably Sonic's at the very lowest for me. For food, Ooh, though, but food, not for milkshakes. Yeah. They're, they have the best milkshakes ever. I'm I sorry, guys. I never really rice. even ate their food. I had their I food had, like, one time. Months. It was it was the day of seventh grade registration, and I got food poisoning. Puked on the way to registration. My picture looked horrible. In the seventh grade. <laughs> yeah. looked like I just, it looked like I just puked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't really fuck with zips, either. I like zips. I've never been to zips. Zips is yet. spendy for how zips average is, it is. Yeah. Let's they got they got good fry sauce and like they're they have tartar sauce. I don't I usually don't mess around with tartar sauce, but they have good tartar sauce. Really, that's a oddly specific good thing to have. Mm-hmm. You know what I seen in the in the Tribune the other day? Shout out to Lewis and Tribune. You by read the, the way. paper, dude? No, it was on <laughs> Facebook actually. They shared this and they said if you could bring back. Oh, a a Lewiston A&W. fucking restaurant. A&W, dude. Who would you be? That was such a good question. That is a great question. Ah, uh, dude. A&W, oh, no, that's no. a good Skippers. one, too. Skippers. I didn't fuck with Skippers. Dude, Skippers, Skippers clam they're chips. Clam. Oh, well, technically, they still have it out at the c And they still have, I think they sell some in Booth's and Albertsons. Oh, I mean, no, no. no. In, in, 
Liberty Mart. Mart. They yep. have the clam chowder yeah. there. So I guess we can't really count that. Dude, yeah. So so, dude, A and W, that's a good one. I forgot. Every time we I go to Mo- every time I go to Moscow I get A and W. I love A and W. Dude, I I like yours, Rowdies. Rowdies, Rowdies. is so like I honestly, underrated. Like, I honestly when I see the ratings ones. of what people like put put up there, mm-hmm. they had Polar Bear, you know, up there. Oh, oh I forgot God. about Polar Bear. I've dude. never been to Polar Bear. I they're, haven't either. <laughs> dude, their pretzels, their hot pretzels, were to die for because they had the white like cheddar cheese Oof. dipping sauce. They had the best pretzels ever. Shout see, out to the Polar Bear. See, you know. So what, I, what else What else is there? And then they had, up top, they had uh, Granny's Buffet. Dude, uh, Granny's fuck honestly, buffet. yeah. That is the one that slaps the most. <laughs> <Dude. laughs> I used to come in, I used to live in Coeur d'Alene. Every time I came in town to see my grandparents, I would make them take me to freaking Granny's yeah, Buffet. Dude. When, I, had, when my grandparents dang, came into ooh. town from, like, Rhode Island in there, they would stay at that hotel that's up right, right, up, next, right next to it. And we would go down, we would swim in their pool, and then after we'd go down and frickin' just eat go eat at Granny's Buffet. Oh, dude, dude fuck yeah. So and then that was the same buffet that had, like, the bee mascot, right? The what? There was a fucking bee. the old bee. lady. Yeah, it was a Granny. Wasn't there, like, <laughs> was a, wasn't granny. there like a fucking I, I think bee? it might have been, a, like, a different buffet after that, but now it's just Ernie's. Yeah. But, dude, yeah, okay. Timber Creek. That's what it was. Yeah, 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 it was. But, okay, let's talk about this. I just fuck let's with a good buffet. I'm a big dude. Buffets let's, are good. Let's talk Someone. about this. Everything that has come in since Granny's has never met the par. Well, no. We don't, we don't have buffets in town other than Super China Buffet. Which is slept on. Slept on. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, every food. everything that's And come... you don't like Chinese food. Dude, they've <laughs> conv- dude, they freaking brought me around. Super yeah. China. I've been to Super China okay. a couple times. But now. here's my thing. I mean, everything that's been in that building yeah. has never met the the standards of Granny's Buffet. I've never been to Ernie's. I like, I've been there I, and I didn't oh, like it. Really? Yeah. So, like, they had a thing. I went there for my birthday dinner, and they had, like, the surf and turf. They have amazing steak, amazing shrimp. And then, uh, they, they, it's like a Texas Roadhouse. They bring you, like, the homemade bread. Yeah. And they have, like, like I think it's cinnamon butter. Dude. Oh, cinnamon butter. Dude, cinnamon that that, that butter fun. was so good. I feel like they, they, they were churning it in there, you know. They had some old lady back there churning cinnamon <laughs> butter. Oh, what's good. the most what's the most overrated restaurant in the valley? Uh, tomato Brothers. KFC. <laughs> Two Tomato Brothers. Tomato Bros is probably it's really good though. I've never really I had don't, it. I don't know, man. I it's... cannot relate in this conversation because I've never know. had it. Maybe not okay, tomato. So Bros. one of them, <laughs> one of the most overrated. It's really good, but it's overrated. <laughs> you guys are not going to be happy. It's the Fazaris. Oh. <laughs> he said. He said. He said. He said. He said what? If there's he anybody, said Fazaris. If there's anybody in Lewiston that hears that he does not like Fazaris, I didn't say I don't like it. I like it, but there's better pizza joints. I there think is South not. Way, dude. Southway is better. I don't put, think so. Put up on like the world's like dude, top. the Shotzi was, pizza was, was, was top elite. ten like. A few years ago, for like pizza That's joints in America, but I definitely think Southway's better. No, Southway's good. Don't get me wrong, but I think Fazari's is better. Fazari's never... makes you feel like if you go to Fazari's, it makes you feel like you're out on an occasion. Yeah, yeah. No, you know, like, like, there's no, like a fireplace. Like, well, like know, we went there for my birthday that one. Yeah, time. yeah. That? dude, yeah. we've gone there for like every single one of birthday, our birthdays. Yeah. Your birthday, once. Trey's birthday. <laughs> yeah, Bryce's birthday. Yeah. Like, trust me, I love it, but it's definitely. Overrated, dude. That's how I feel about Tomato Brothers, man. Yeah. I don't. I really I... don't think Fazaris is overrated. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was gonna get you wound up, Bryce. So, so that what's hurts. what's what's an overrated restaurant? Overrated? <laughs> well, Cold really likes Ernie's, and I think that's overrated. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've yeah. never been there. Never been Give me there. something more are you, spicy. Are you like a big steak guy? Yeah. Yeah, you are? Yeah. You had their steak? Yeah, they didn't care. For, it wasn't okay. the Nothing greatest I had. Okay. I like Texas Roadhouse better. I've never had Texas Roadhouse, wow. actually. What's your, what's your or f- actually, I might have had it once. What's your f- Okay, one that's overrated that's not in the valley that I've been to. Oh, dude, fuck. 
Dude, okay, go. Gold Corral. Dude, okay. I, 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 I will get behind that because, dude, if my dad's listening to this, my dad fucking loves Gold it's so bad. Dude, and we would dude. always go to Golden Corral. I was like, dude, Granny's is better than this. <laughs> dude. Like, going there, I was like, man, it seems like it's a stacked lineup, but when, <laughs> you, when you eat it, it's like, it's not that great. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not excited. Uh, yeah, exactly. You're not really hyped for anything no. in there. Dude, no, the most overrated just two, two fucking roosters. I mean, not roosters, fucking... Hazels. No, what the fuck? Hazels red Robin, sorry. We don't have a Red Robin. Dude, no, I'm just saying in general. Like, really? Over, like, from where I've been in other that's places. that's overrated? Dude, yeah. I'm you not... think Red Robin's overrated? He's getting both of us heated on this. <laughs> Dude, I don't really, really fuck they're, with They're bottomless bring... steak fries? Yeah, bottomless steak die fries for. to die for. And then they, they give burgers you... burgers to give die for. You, they give you a shake... With the extra shake. Well, so oh does the Sherry's. Have you guys ever? Yeah, had so the Sherry's, but the Sherry's. Okay, honestly, Sherry's, Sherry's is food fine. is not as good as Ooh, Red Robin. I like Sherry's. <laughs> <laughs> That's just me. I like the breakfast. No, I but love breakfast. okay. The yeah. second most overrated place I've been to that's not in the valley is fucking Denny's. Oh, fuck you. Denny's is... Dude, Denny's... <laughs> fuck you, dude. Dude, 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 fuck dude, you. dude Denny's is Denny's literally is every single breakfast joint in America. Yeah, but it's better than IHOP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Better than if, IHOP? If my grandma was listening to this, yeah, she'd be ass. like, Treve, you're, you're yeah. higher than a kite, man. <laughs> <laughs> because, because Denny's is her favorite. Then dude, just, IHOP I is so crazy. much better. Than I Denny's. really don't think so. I've been to IHOP and I really didn't like dude, it. Dude, I was so pissed that we got rid of IHOP, dude, because it was twenty four seven. Imagine how much different high school would be if we fucking had IHOP twenty four fucking seven. How would it be so much different? <laughs> Instead of going to Sherry's whack ass restaurant, we'd be it's fucking eating at IHOP. Okay, okay, personally for <laughs> breakfast though, I love going to Waffles and more anyway. Oh, yeah, right. that, I forget yeah, about that's a, that. That's a great place. That's great. Wonderful. They have good omelets. They have that's another place. Waffles. That's another place where if you go there, you feel like you're like if you if you're you visit Lucent yeah, for breakfast. Yeah, if like you, you visit Lucent, you gotta have waffles and more for breakfast, yeah. and then probably Sharps for lunch. Dude, yeah. and then you know either like Southway Fazari's. Yeah, or Fazari's like for dinner. Tomato Bros. Yeah. You think it's and overrated, but just, you gotta go like one of those places. All the all got just go sit down and enjoy. Dude, yeah, we will, we will like tour you around the LC Valley. It's pretty Won't nice. be much. <laughs> this basically turned into an LC Valley podcast. I wonder if anybody from like Jacksonville is just listening to this. And being like, Dude, I mean, they got a lot of restaurants. It sounds like that's it, dude. And yeah. that's literally it. Like literally, we have and we so got two much. Golf. Yeah, we got two disc golf courses. And then I guess we could take you on the. I'm not going on well, the hike. Actually, like no, on the boat tour. <laughs> we'll we'll yeah, fucking you know, we can we play. Can take you sturgeon fishing. We can play a game of fudge. <laughs> at, at orchards, yeah. Yeah, at orchards. Oh man. Classic. All right, got any more hot takes for us, Treve? Let's see. Or do I gotta? I think you need to fire some off, dude. Because okay, we just so we like... went on we went on a hella rant about restaurants. Food. <laughs> dude, well, so that like... was a good one. That was a good one. One that kind of just came up to my mind when you first said that was. It's just, it's kind of weird, but I think all drugs should just be legalized. Like, uh-huh. I think that we could have, we like, our government could spend a lot more money on better things, different things than, you know, enforcing drug laws. If someone wants to smoke meth, whether it's illegal or not, someone's going to buy meth and smoke it or yeah. do whatever. You know, it's a yeah. hot take when you first say it, but then you start elaborating, and then it's kind of like, oh, that's not really that much of a hot take. Yeah, but it's well, a good take. It's a good well, take. Well, yeah, because I, well, I was watching the Joe Rogan's podcast of with, course, with, legendary. with Bernie Sanders. Oh, I didn't even watch that Ooh. whole thing. And, uh, uh, you know, he, I, I just watched a segment of it, and it was, you know, Bernie Sanders saying why weed shouldn't be, you know, illegal. And Joe Rogan said, oh, well, do you think all drugs should be illegal? And he said, no. And I was like, why not? I don't know. I just think that we could spend our money rehabilitating people. I don't know. I don't really think, like, people should, like, sell it. But Mike was saying that he thinks, like, if a store or a pharmacy wants to sell grade A crystal meth, they should be able to. 
you know, not get in trouble for it. If people want to be twacked out, they're going to be twacked out no matter what. I wonder how that would have done to the culture of, like, the world if that's how it If was. just all drugs were legal. Yeah. You know, I know there's a South American country that did that, and, like, they're fine. I don't re- It's, like, Chile or, like, Venezuela. I, I It's probably not neither of those, but it's some South American country. Okay, but I got a question. So would you, like, register it? In a certain amount to each person? Well, probably, so, like... No, it's just, like, I think if all drugs are legal, you need to buy them, like, how you would buy groceries or, like, cigarettes. Yeah. Like, you buy them as you want. You don't get, like, assigned these drugs. Yeah, you can't make illegal... Like, so, like, with weed, you can't... Like, in Washington, you can't have over, like, an ounce or two. I don't know the exact laws. Like, it'd probably be the same with meth or heroin. You can't have over certain amount of grams or ounces. Yeah, and DUI and, rules. Still yeah, you effect. can't be you can't be high on meth or high on heroin when you're driving. It's a DUI still. Yeah. But I definitely think just if drugs were legal, we could I don't know, I think we could use money, more money on better things. Focus on the more important things. Yeah, seriously. That's a good. That's a good take. Fitz. You know what one has You know what my hot take is? You should never shave your mustache. I like mustaches. I like your fucking mustache, Bryce. Your mustache grows in a lot more thicker than mine does. Mine grows in the reverse Hitler. So does mine, dude. So, I like, hate it. So, like, it doesn't go in the middle where, like, a Hitler stash would be. It just goes on the sides. Dude, I hate it because one side goes longer than mm-hmm. the other. And I'm like, I always I'm just going to have, like, a whole Hogan stash. Handlebar stash. It's gonna be super dope, <laughs> <laughs> dude. I would rock or like a Fu Man <laughs> two kind of thing. But like a bold take for me, which I don't know if it's bold, I don't know, but like I think like some of the big time rappers that people say have died haven't died. <laughs> yeah, all right. I okay. do. Uh, I think honestly, I don't think Michael Jackson died. Well, who's he, that guy that just recently like killed himself? That everyone thinks that the government like killed him. I have no oh, there was there was there's some shit like that, but I don't remember who. It was. But no, I just Jared think... from Subway. I heard someone like killed him, but I heard, <laughs> he was, I heard, I heard, I heard, he heard something about too. him. Yeah, I heard something about him too. Some Illuminati type yeah. shit. But but no, like my thing with it is like these guys have enough money, and they're having like a big enough prestigious life because obviously they're big time people. Mm-hmm. They can pay enough pay guys to set shit up. To make it look like oh. it's them. You think, Give them the you right think X is still alive? X? X, X, X. It's uh, Are you talking about like Tupac? Yeah, I'm talking about old the ones. Biggie. Yeah, I'm talking about those guys. I think they just like set shit up, had their ID set up, somebody that looked kind of like them, mm-hmm. and then they just took off because they, they're tired of the big being big time. Big time. And they, they're tired of like, they don't want to get Possibly. fucking shot up, they don't want to get killed. In the game. Yeah, I don't think Michael Jackson is dead either. So, you know what I mean? I think Dude, Michael just... Jackson's situation's creepy. Well, yeah, the whole, you know, raping kids, kids. or whatever. That was I messed think, up. He's one I of the best artists of, of all time. He's the, one of the best artists of all time, but I think that's kind of true. What, the whole With the kid thing? Well, yeah, I'm sure yeah. it's true. Wasn't there, like, know, there's a lot of weird stuff. Like, lots of weird stuff. Like, all surrounding him. That's probably why he wanted to be gone you know whatever that's what I'm saying like the, if it, they're in the heat of a moment or they're in like see like with those big rappers like mm-hmm. they're in the heat of their yeah moment some people don't like being in the light yeah you know what I mean like they made a shit ton of money well now they have that money and they can go live their life elsewhere and they don't have to worry about it because mm-hmm. that's, technically they're dead yeah nobody knows it well that's what I'm people set it up that's what I'm wondering is like I wonder cause you know how the internet is nowadays like and you know like Takashi 6 ix whole situation yeah. I wonder if he's gonna get found like in a couple of years like he'll get uh yeah they'll like give him a new identity the, yeah and then the like s- and then somebody's the gonna find him on the internet and then they're gonna well like when you do that kind of stuff you, you can't have, like, social media. You have to have, like, a low-key job, you know? And that's what I'm saying. Like, those big-time guys, that's mm-hmm. what they did. They probably just went to 
countries elsewhere have set up. Countries are like Ohio or well, something. Well, yeah, like and that. they have money, so they got set up with a nice place or mm-hmm. something, and they're just living out their life. Yeah. I always thought it would be wild if Takashi just showed up in Lewiston, because this would just be the perfect place for him. Dude, it, there's no way people aren't going to know him if he has to, you know, get a new identity oh, yeah. or whatever. Well, they're going like, to have to do a lot of work. Yeah, like, you can get, like, tattoos removed, but it's not that great. No. Like, you no. still kind of see You can the still see it. Yeah. Well, and that's what it, I'm saying. He's well, probably I mean, just going to After a while, it goes away, but you have to do a shit ton of them. Oh, yeah, he has and face tattoos and neck tattoos. And you and can't and... just do that. Like, right, one right after the other. Oh, no. Take years to get all of his yeah. tattoos off. Well, I mean, he's probably just going to end up doing what he's doing now and probably yeah. just staying where he's at. He's just going to try to keep rapping or whatever. That's what I'm saying. If you're at the top of your game, just go out because you don't want to be there. You don't want to be in that. Yeah. And that's, like, sometimes what, like, NFL players do. And, like, Kyrie and them, when he went to, like, Boston, for instance, he's like, I'm now the main guy. Yeah. And he was like, I didn't want to be the fucking... Now he seems like he doesn't want to be the main guy. Yeah. It's like, you just want to get out of the limelight and just be Yeah. Off. Speaking of people that did that, Andrew fucking Luck. Yeah, but he did that for re- good He's reasons. He's different. He, he was going to be hurt for the rest of his I career. I mean, like... like was, and honestly, he said he was just mentally drained, though. Mentally drained and physically. Well, people said, are wild, though, on the internet. They're like, he's a fucking baby. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> fuck. I seen a video, and it was the Colts fans, and they were literally booing his ass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Leave me. That's fucking bullshit. Man. That Yeah, that's so... That's bad. That's disrespectful. Andrew Luck and... Dude, like, Andrew Luck and RG3, the year they got drafted, though, they deserve, like, a fucking 30 for 30. Because, like, that's, like, the two best quarterbacks that never were. Yeah. RG3 and Andrew Luck. Well, mm-hmm. like, okay, like, I don't think he, they never were. Like, Luck was good, good. He had a good rating. Dude, but he never really but his, went anywhere. His, I know. His numbers, though, for his first six, six years of his career were, like, good numbers. Or average, yeah. Were better than, you know, most yeah. during yeah. the first six seasons. So, but still, like... Having, like, all the injuries he's had. He's had, like, muscle on his ribs he's not, torn yeah, off. He's had not the same. his shoulder fucked up. He said that the whole time it's, it's just been the pain, fucking rehabbing, mm-hmm. trying to play, then pain. Then playing and then getting hurt yeah. again. It's not worth yeah. it at that point. So now he's just, and I don't blame him. If you have nine Dude, I can't in believe... seven years, I would walk away too. I, I would, can't yeah. believe he decided just to do it now, though. Makes I think sense. I think it's been nagging because like the leg thing's been going on for a few weeks mm-hmm. and he's been like if this doesn't clear up like I'll let you know and that's why the Colts kind of said they'll let everybody know by week three what happened week three mm-hmm. Luck, let everybody know yeah I'm done dude There's I was percent. so fast on that shit oh too. I know I posted a video like the second I heard about it I was like what yeah dude that's crazy that opens but, the door but here's my thing, too, though. Like, I think in a few years, if Luck stays healthy outside of the game. XFL. No, I think he'll, <laughs> I think he'll play again. Like, one or two years. If he can stay healthy. But I think it's going to, I think he'll take, he like, I think he'll take, like, a four, four-year break or three or four-year break. Just to stay healthy. Yeah. You know? The Jags winning the AFC South just became... It's realer and realer. Dude, it's... It is. Dude, it's real as fuck. Yeah. I'm so excited. I don't see the Titans stopping you with Mary Hunter. And, dude, I think Deshaun Watson is the most overrated quarterback in the league. I think they'll be all right, Pish posh. Duke Johnson's going to be different than... Dude, Leonard Fournette's going to hit different this year, bro. (laughs) Yeah, right. Dude, I, I... we could have drafted him in the fantasy thing, and he fell for a long time. And I was like, Dude, I don't want him. Talk about a, how big of a bitch that was to get that fucking draft going, dude. Fucking Jesus. It was a scramble. Dude, I know it was my fault, too. Because fucking... I thought I was in the league, but it was on my old fucking account. Because ESPN probably fucked so many people because they fucking discontinued to be able to connect to your Facebook. On ESPN. Oh, yeah. So, like, I couldn't fucking connect mm-hmm. to the Facebook, and the one that I was in was on the Facebook. The only thing I do is remember my, like, email. 
And then I put it in, and then I said, need help signing in, and then yeah. I said no code. Oh, dude, I don't know why, but I got, when I get my, when you get new phones, you have to sign back into everything. Yeah. I have most problems logging back into my Insta Slam. Really? I never have a problem. I could not fucking find that Finger out for down. a couple hours. But, like, ESPN, I got it first try, and I was really surprised. Dude, fuck, I still have... One more fantasy draft. Dude, you know what we should do? Uh, we should do a CBS draft. Why? Why did we do it that one year? We did it one year, remember that crew? Cause yeah, I don't remember We did why. it for some reason. I think it was because that oh, was the only... not everyone could sign into a certain something. ones. Something. I think, I think it was somebody be... had a problem with ESPN and or then something. Yahoo and then... Yeah. I thought it was because fucking like... That was the only website that let you draft, like, then and there. Oh, yeah, it was. Oh, yeah, yeah. right on the spot, yeah. so you could just go do it. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we fucked around, did that. And then I don't think we ever kept up on it. No. I don't remember why. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I could handle another league, so I'm going to be in four. I have some serious leagues this year. I, I do, just, too. I'm excited. Uh, fuck. I face, I'm a busy I face motherfucker. Luigi week one, and I'm the... Spank that ass. That team's awesome. In the crew? I played yeah. Connor week one in the... Oh, I played Wyatt. Beats. I'm pretty sure I played Jamin. <laughs> Dude, I'm pretty sure I knocked my team out of the park. Okay, but like, I'm trying something different this year. Dual tight ends. Travis Kelsey and George Kittle. We're going to see how it goes. Dude, that's Oops. what I was saying. Like, I mean, when I seen you do that, like, I was like, this is... This just a strap, you know. Like it's a every, strap, that's and what I think I would, it's a good one. That's what I would do too. They both have Travis Kelsey, obviously. Yeah, I still got one more f- with Mahomes. Fucking draft. And Can they, you change your name, Colton? I changed mine to Gold. Period. No, and the yo like when your yo mama. That's such a stupid oh, name. Oh yeah. Well, I, I I literally couldn't think of anything. So you just put that for. I did, I didn't like put any thought into any names, dude. Because they just came out. My of name nowhere. changes during the season, so like if I'm having a shitty year, my name's gonna be like broke but still here type shit. <laughs> like that's what. So let's see. Here's Trib's tribe. I got fucked because I had no idea how high you motherfuckers valued quarterbacks. I didn't, it just started flying. Dude, One it round. was ridiculous. Was like, in the crew time. chat. I got mine. No, no, in the fucking big peeps. Oh, yeah. I got mine in 11th and 12th round, though. I, I, did, I did, too. Too. too, and I kind of got fucked. My, my quarterbacks are my least. What's your quarterback? Jameis Winston. Oof. And Josh Allen. Oof. Josh Allen's a Josh win. Josh Allen's a good one, though. Josh Allen's a win. Mm-hmm. But then I have Joe Mixon, Carrion Johnson, okay. Devontae Adams, Chris Godwin, Jordan Reed, Tevin Coleman. And I got Austin Eckler. I don't like, I don't like Jordan Reed. I got Austin. I think he's going to be hurt too much. I got Austin Eckler, Josh Gordon, Sammy Watkins, Jordan Howard, Deion Lewis, Trey Burton on the bench. Dude, I don't know. I'm if Ezekiel deep. Elliott ends up playing, I'll probably just win the league. But if he doesn't, I have that Tony Pollard kid. And I got a couple weeks I got, I got Breezes, Zeke. Mark Ingram the second, OBJ, Stephon Diggs, Jared Cook, Kelvin Ridley, Minnesota defense, and Chris Boswell. Obviously, I won because of Chris Boswell. Obviously, he's obviously I, in the play. I was fucking pissed because I was he's looking. He's making a comeback. I was looking to draft him, and I realized he wasn't there. I was pissed. You're like cold, <laughs> dude. Barnage doesn't have another starting running back. Yeah, this is my team, guys. I kind of like my squad. His name is like Kareem in your girl. <laughs> that no, it's probably the best one. Honestly, that's hilarious. The <laughs> quiz in my pants is always a class. I got Philip Rivers, James White, uh, Daniel Montgomery or David Montgom- Montgomery, the new rookie for Chicago. I've never even heard of him. Uh, Tyreek Hill, Sterling Shepard, Travis Kelsey, George Kittle, Texans defense, and Matt Prater. Matt. It's kind of shit. <laughs> not really. <laughs> dude, that, that, that's not bad. Why? Because Sterling Shepard's the number one receiver. Yeah, in New York. Yeah, that's fine. Dude, How'd you end up with him as your number one receiver? Tyreek's my number one. Who's your number one running back? My number one running back's James White. Dude! That's, that's fine. He's a, Oh, that's because you drafted dude. two fucking tight ends. Yeah. You fucking silly But I have goose. Tony Pollard on the bench from Dallas, and if 
Zeke doesn't play the first few weeks. He's starting. Dude, I'm pissed off because so. in Big Pete's, I was fucking ranked fucking 11th. And I was like, there's no way I'm 11th. You're 11th. I'm 4th. Your team is guard. Me and Jamin are last and second well, does to he last. have only running backs on his yeah, team? Yeah, which was wild. I was like, you know what he's doing? He he's would. doing trying running backs so he can trade everybody because he doesn't care for Damian Williams. He doesn't care for those guys. He's just doing it just so he has it. Yeah, he... I knew... He was. He always does that. He always drafts a shit ton of running yeah, backs. So he dude, he drafted away. five in a row. I was yeah. like, "Whew, dude, I'm gonna fuck up everybody in the crew league." I face you week one, and you're gonna fucking I'm gonna get check the crew swept. league. Fucking, yeah, you got a <laughs> Cam Newton. Oh yeah. Todd Gurley, Nick Chubb. We're Bonte still on the podcast. We're just <laughs> talking <laughs> fans, you know. I'm telling you, dude. That's that's how a good podcast goes. You just you just go. You just keep going in the conversation. Oh yeah, you'll be me. Yeah, dude. My team is like unnecessarily stacked. Uh, I'm not making a single trade in any league this year. I'm not making a trade in the league that I'm in with the crew. Why? <laughs> not even with me. What if I want to make a trade? Why? Because I feel good about my team. I have, a, I have good backups, too. I do, too. Russell Wilson, Le'Veon Bell, Derrick Henry, DeAndre Hopkins, Antonio Brown, George Gill, Marlon Mack, Browns D, and Jordan Greg Zerline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. James White, Tyler Lockett on the bench. Look at Lee. Austin Eckler, Hunter Henry, Daniel Sanders, Christian Kirk, and AP. AP. Aaron Rodgers? All day. Saquon Barkley? Yeah, your team's really Carry on Johnson? I think I could still be. Juju Smith Schuster? Adam Thielen? Nine. Travis Kelsey? He'll be. Stephon Diggs? Wizard of Boss? Number two. Philip Lindsley on the bench? Number five in fantasy last year. Tevin Coleman in the bench? D. Westbrook on the bench? You're huge. Now look at all this from last year. My quarterback, Russ. Top 10 quarterback, number 9. Number 9. Derrick Henry, number 16. DeAndre Hopkins, number 2. AB, number 5. George Gill, number 3 in his positions. Marlon Mack, number 21. Not bad. But he's going to build on this year because Jacoby Brissett's garbage. And he ain't going to be throwing as much as luck. True. Alright, so I think... Off the fantasy discussion, that'll wrap up the podcast. Fucking 46 minutes of content, boys. There we go. Just Ye flying the through e. the conversation. Make sure if you guys haven't already, you can check the links down below. You can click on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks. Follow me on Instagram at Trayvon Pixley. Boys, any last parting words? Goodbye. See you next week.